afternoon and welcome to Rabbi Mind's fourth day in the month of February, the month of love. The countdown begins to February 14th for most people watching. Uh, but the question is, is there love in the nation? We're going to be taking a look at what's happening in Kano State. There's a face-off there. How would it affect the APC and, more importantly, the PDP or generally uh, voting in Kano State when it comes to 2019, being that Kano is one of the major states um, tilted more towards our incumbent president. Also going to take a look at social media handles, social media habits, the life of social media. When is enough enough? When is it too much? Uh, do you believe everything you see and how does it affect uh, the new generation being born into this world of social media? Is it an addiction? Is it a habit? When do you get off it? We'll find out from our guests also today. And of course, in the entertainment segment, we have a very creative man uh, who is a photographer, a celebrity photographer, a comic, I would like to say, a producer, a filmmaker, and he wears so many caps. He'll be touching on some issues um, in Nollywood and find out what he's been up to. Uh, talking about the one and only Yomi Black. But joining me in the studio is a familiar face, and uh, he's a man that uh, is very distinct and very unique, and always a pleasure having him. Leonardo Ebutau, how are you? Great to have you. Great to have you. Always too. love the get up, nice always love what you wear. Thank you. I don't know, is there a particular signature? Do we call this a particular style? Because <laughs> uh, this, is, this is more going back home. This is um, the Idoma traditional colors. Idoma. Estate, yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. I, I think I owe you a visit. Please do. Anytime. Very, very soon. Yeah. Now, let's uh, take a visit to Kano State. What's happening there? Former Governor Senator uh, Kwakwa Shah, of course, Governor Gandu Jay, there's a face off there. Uh, talks of the, uh, the Inspector General to, to resign. And there's just a lot of chaos and rumors of possibly decamping. Mm, yeah, let me start with, the, <laughs> let me start with the, the decamping rumor. Like you mentioned, it's rumor. Yeah. Uh, what we know about Nigerian politics is, is that rumors somehow turn out to be the truth at yeah. the end of the day when it has to do with stuff like that. Uh, mm. Kwankoso is an extremely important figure in Kano state politics. Mm. He was a very well-loved governor. Mm. Uh, himself and Ganduje worked together for eight years. They're close pals. Mm. And then uh, probably Ganduje tried maybe to get out of Kwankoso's shadows and form a political identity for himself. I assume that that is partly what this conflict is about. Mm. But the recent one being that uh, Kwankoso was denied entry into Kano State because of uh, the possibility of violence. He was advised, actually, yeah. by, by the police commissioner not to come, and that uh, um, sent the wrong signals to quite a few people. And the question a lot of people are asking is, should a serving senator require any formal approval to go back to his constituency? Um, hmm. Are there issues? Uh, and then the counter argument to that is if his presence is going to be a security risk, is it not within the. Well, this is a senator who represents the interests of the people in the state, if I'm correct. Yes. So, how could he be a threat? Yeah, but given that the date selected for the visit coincided with the date Ganduje was doing his <laughs> political rally, <laughs> so the timing had certain connotations that perhaps but, the police commissioner wanted to avoid. You know? But like most things politics, um, a lot of people depend more on hearsay than the facts. Mm. And the truth is, when you see things like this happen, mm. there seems to be an underlining story. Is there an underlining story to this? What is the agenda in Kano State now? Uh, well, the thinking is that uh, what on the street is that Kwankwesu has ideas, politically speaking, that mm. uh, um, the PDP is um, trying to capitalize on for good reasons. The PDP being in the opposition currently needs all the help they can get, especially from the north. Like you mentioned in your intro, um, Kano State, uh, nearly three million votes came from Kano State in the last election. Mm. And nearly two million of those went to, uh, over two million of those actually went to General Muhammadu Buhari. And so the thinking is that if uh, some divisions are created in Kano and the personality like Kwankoso is out of the party, mm. then maybe that kind of wholesale support will be denied the incumbent president. So it is in the interest of the PDP to try to wrest control of Kano state from the APC using whatever legitimate means possible. Any and legitimate. I, what about the, the backdoor channel, as is always customary? Are, are, there, are there opportunities for that as well? Or who should step in? Do you think the leaders or the leadership of, AP, uh, of uh, PDP should step in? Oh, well, you see, the thing is this. If I talk generally, I would say that um, Buhari rode on a lot of goodwill in the last election. Mm. Pan-Nigeria, not just mm. in the core north. 
although the Northwest alone gave him uh, over 7 million votes. Yeah. A lot of that goodwill has eroded, pan-Nigeria as well. So the role of Kano in determining the success of Muhammad Buhari in mm. 2019 is overemphasized, is, is, is yeah, overrated. It, is overrated, you yes. think so? Yes, well, for what, example, what, what, the what do, you think is, what do you think is going on in the camp of, of uh, APC right now in terms of strategy, in terms of how this will impact 2019? Um, and also, if, if it's not handled well, how this will affect PDP as well? Well, I, I think the APC uh, have, in the last few weeks, gone back to their usual diversionary tactics of media politics, quite frankly. Mm. I mean, they are throwing restructuring back at us as a pet agenda for 2019, when the same restructuring was thrown away for three years. But suddenly, it's one year to the general <laughs> election, and they want to give us what we have always asked for, what we thought change meant, meant. when we voted them into power in 2015. Uh, 2015. So you see, they're trying to divert our attention from the non-performance in many areas, including security, which was supposed to be the stronghold, the core. The core Funny of, you should mention country. security. I think I'm going to dovetail into the next issue. The issue in Benway, mm. um, peace is becoming a very... Um, a very far concept now in terms of the security of lives and property. Um, I, I heard it from the streets that you also are a farmer. Uh, yes. About six years now, give or take. Yes. Um, and you, you, you being a farmer, you being someone whose livelihood depends on how well your farm does, mm. um, when you look at Benway, I mean, someone like um, Bafarawa is cautioning that there might not be peace in Benway. Mm. Well, how, how do you think the issue of security has been dealt with with these herdsmen and the general approach? People are not really satisfied with how it's been approached. There is no peace in Benue. Um, we've had clashes with herdsmen over the years. It didn't start with this administration. But with this administration, the boldness with which the attacks started coming, the scale of, mm. of, of, of the... The sheer, the, sheer, the sheer scale of the massacre and, the and arson has, and even frequency has increased tremendously. And it is no more a sneak attack. So when, when, when people employ diversionary techniques of trying to describe what is happening in Benue State as a tough war or as, as a communal clash or as a clash between, or as a resource um, war, it takes away from the reality on ground. You see, when you have a problem with the farmer in his farm, what we see is probably an altercation that happens in the farm and somebody could get killed, okay? Mm -hmm. But when the women, children, old folks at home and entire villages are being raised and killed and destroyed, mm -hmm. it tells me that this is an occupation. Mm 